This is wood shop with John DeResta. In my balls. Thank you. One dollar. What's up, fucker? This is a painting that my wife Fran did. She actually is a pretty handy painter. I took this from her little stock. I'm going to lay it in this piece of birch plywood. And this is going to be the headboard she's been asking for for 27 years. Hopping on it. When I show her pictures of bed frames I make for other customers, all she could look is, boy, I wish I had a headboard like that. So now we're gonna custom make a headboard with her funky painting laid in, finish it, present it on Christmas morning. Thank you. Gang signals. In my balls, thank you. This will be the hole where my wife's painting gets laid in. And I forgot to tell you, this is birch plywood, but it's Mahu. Instead of paying 50, I paid $18 because the corner was crunched off. Thank you. Prior to my release in 2009 of Anomaly, I went for 20 years without a record. Well, we all know what happened. I wasn't there. Ace Freely. <laughs> New Ace Freely. Fire and water. What's up, fucker? Ace Freely is a real New Yorker. From Yonkers. Much like myself, but I'm from Long Island. I'm a flid. You know what a flid is? I'm a fucking Long Island douchebag. In my balls with the flid. Here we go. Look at this. Come on, Bobby. Watch this. Shebangy. Jimmy Durest is not the only Duresta that knows how to cut shit out and make it fit right. What's up? I'm older. I know he's a better woodworker. All the trolls. In my balls. That's where your trolls are. Here we go. Watch this. Now we're going to feather the edge with the plywood. Watch. When that's all stained nice, that's going to make it look nice and old. Okay, watch this. The one troll that's fucking with me that I have two subscribers. Two! Okay? I have the same amount of balls as he does subscribers. Let me see if you can sand something like that in eight seconds without even trying. Okay? You know what I have to say to that guy that has two subscribers? That's your mom's hole. I just dropped a heavy ass six by 24 belt sander in your mom's baby maker yeah who's the asshole now That's Lemmy singing Breaking the Law. Maybe you heard of it. But now Judas Priest is getting a little old. They do a song called Breaking the Lawn, Breaking the Lawn. Sand in the board, sand in the board. Hold on. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, next step, <clears throat> we're going to add a little aging with a torch. Very simple process. This is going to match a bed frame that Matt DeResta made for Fran. 
So we're gonna give it a little aging. Wait do you see what this looks like at the end between the cross sanding. Yeah, if you notice here, I opted to sand away one layer and give it like a kind of a frame. And like I said, we're just gonna burn it a little in a couple of spots. Mm, smell of the burnt wood brings back a lot of memories. It reminds me of the time we went camping up in New Paltz in 1974. And in the middle of the night, I looked up at my Uncle Kenny. And I said, Uncle Kenny, what's a pervert? And he said, shut up and keep sucking. Oh! I put on my dog sunglasses so the flame doesn't burn my retina. I want to pretend that I'm a welder, like Jimmy DeResta. I'm smart. I'm not dumb, like they say. You know, I'm, I'm smart too. I know how to build, you know? Everybody thinks Jimmy DeResta this, Jimmy, I'm smart. I got passed over. That's what Pop wanted. Well, that's not what I wanted. See how lazy I am? I don't even lift the fucking thing up. And what I'm doing, to me, it looks like little birds coming down. It's like nice birds, not pigeons. Last night I fed a pigeon a little piece of a tortilla and a quesadilla and it looked up with its little hooked floor and it went What's up, Booker? What's up, Booker? Thank you for the tortilla and the quesadilla. What's up, fucker? Okay. Now we're gonna just apply some stain, give it a little depth. Make it look hip, antique. We're gonna put this on the whole thing, then we're gonna polyurethane. Then we're gonna attach the painting in the middle. Then we're gonna put a big bow on it. And then we're gonna show you the reveal on Christmas morning when my husband, Fran, sees this in the living room. And what do I got? A handmade Christmas gift for $18. Thank you. In my balls with the $18. See the nice little birds? See the little birds? They're not pigeons. They're birds. Okay, so now we're gonna drop Fran's painting into the semi-finished headboard. We're gonna do what's called a pocket jig. And I have absolutely no idea what to do with this thing. I think you might stuff the, the marijuana in here. I'll do it for you. Jimmy DeResta is a better woodworker than me, I'm sorry. And Matt DeResta is too. All right, here we go. Okay, pocket jig all set. Thank you to my son, Matt DeResta. Now we lay it in. I don't know why it doesn't want to fit. Put it in straight. That's what she said at the picnic. Here we go. Okay. Come on, Bobby. Here we go, the old square tip screw trick. Nice. All righty. Come on, Bobby. Yeah, I'm gonna sign the back because it's a Christmas gift. Uh, it's to my wife. Um, what the, what's your mom's first name again? Francis. Francis? Really? Can we call it something else? Fran? Oh, Fran, All right, that's it. I'm on the highway to hack. Fucking A in my balls.
Look how, look how romantic I am. Here we go, one, two, wah! Shebangy. Now we just got a wood fill, sand, polyurethane, and they do the shebangy on Christmas morning. Come on, Bobby. Here we go. Come on, Bobby. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on, Bobby. Who's your daddy with the polyurethane? Right? This polyurethane only takes about two to three minutes to get hard. Unlike myself. All right. It's been about two days, five coats of high gloss polyurethane for this fantastic headboard I'm gonna to give to my wife, Frances, for Christmas. It's a surprise, she has no idea. I got really cool wrapping paper. However, um, I think that the snowman, I think he just looks like a gay guy. And not that there's anything wrong with that. Look, why does he look gay? It's a snowman. I mean, he looks like he might've had a couple of experiences at band camp back in the mid 80s. Yeah. Speaking of experiences at band camp, Brentley, step over. You're going to help me rap. Brentley is a new guy at our shop. His nickname is The Machine because he's such a good worker. Now, what do you think? You know Fran. Yeah. Think she's going to like it? You're going to love it. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. This is birch plywood I got for 18 bucks. We cut the hole out. We dropped Fran's painting in, and then I did these little burn marks. Now, what do these look like to you? Birds. Nice birds. So Brentley, we're gonna wrap this. I assume, should we turn it upside down or how do we go about this? How about we go like this? All right. All right, you go this way. Okay, now you're gonna tape it from underneath. If I had bent over underneath, I'd get dizzy and I'd puke. What makes it look gay to you? The scarf. Wait a minute. I have a scarf on. So, you know, Jimmy DeResta got upped. I got passed over. That's what Pop wanted. It's not what I wanted. Wow, where is this going? This is beautiful. This is a headboard for my wife. Gorgeous, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, it's fabulous, it's beautiful. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad to you. Thank you. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, these are going on right now. Oh, slippers! <laughs> TV. Look it open, Mom. <gasps> Is that one of your paintings? <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Look at that, nice and smooth, right? I love it. It's 3D. Right, and do you see these? You know what these are? They look like birds. Nice birds. Merry Christmas! Yay! Merry Christmas! Alright, we'll put it up for you in a little bit. Make a poor man